Hello everybody! Today we are going to take a look at one of the most expected new releases of 2022. If we claim that the past 4 years have been the years of Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, we wouldn't be so wrong. Well, it seems like his domination over the TV will continue in the upcoming years as well since he is coming up with two new spin-offs that will make Yellowstone fans happy. One of the spin-offs, 1883, is already on air and is beloved by not only the audience but also the critics. The series focuses on the early Duttons who are on their way to Montana with the hope of having a better life. Their journey is filled with dangerous and deadly threats, which is a hard watch but also an interesting one. Now you may wonder why are the Duttons so important that they get a new series focusing on their ancestors. The Duttons are the main characters of the Yellowstone TV show, the owners of the Yellowstone Ranch, who are fighting to protect their ranch and lifestyle. It seems like ordinary work at first, however, the Yellowstone Ranch has a lot of enemies and threats that require at most attention at all times. The story itself is pretty creative as we constantly witness new plots twists and plot lines that change the entire course of the scenario. And yet, the characters are the ones who carry the show upon their shoulders. John Dutton is the patriarch of the family who prioritizes Yellowstone Ranch more than anything else. He is strong, heartless and a man to be afraid of as he has the means and will to do whatever he wants to whomever he wants. Beth Dutton is his daughter, who is smart but unpredictable woman who makes everything a little bit more complicated. She is too similar to John in terms of her personality, to the point that arguable she might be more dangerous and heartless than John when it comes to everyone but her family. Casey is the son of John, who might be the most lovable person in the family since he can be genuinely categorized as a good man. That being said, he is also extremely loyal to his family and is willing to do anything his father wants him to do. Last but not least, there is a Jamie Dutton who is the adopted son of the family that grew up to be the Eternal General of Montana. He has a highly complicated relationship with this family as half of the family hates him while the other half does not love him enough to make him a true part of the family. All these characters make the show What Is It Today, which is being one of the best shows on TV. Since 1883 focuses on the 200 years old prior and is taking place in a completely different settings, we see it mostly as a companion show that complements Yellowstone with its input. However, when it comes to the other spin-off of the show, 4 Sixes would feel like there is more rivalry energy since it is focusing on yet another ranch located in Texas, which is the heart of the country life. It is no secret that when it comes to country life, Texas is the one that takes the lead, while others like Montana are follow-ups. This fact alone creates a slightly rivalry between the two shows. In Yellowstone, we sometimes get a glimpse of life in the Yellowstone Ranch as we watch them having cattle drives and making other ranches and cowboy stuff. However, these scenes constitute the smallest part of the show since the main focus is on the characters and their sociopolitical and emotional journey. Four Sixes, however, is taking place in the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas, which is a real ranch that has been active since the 19th century, making it one of the biggest and oldest ranches in the world. Sheridan, who is the owner of this ranch now, is dreaming to capture the daily life of this ranch in his new series by placing Jimmy from Yellowstone at the center of the story. We all know how much Jimmy wants to be a cowboy, which makes Four Sixes a perfect place for him. This means that compared to Yellowstone, Four Sixes will have more documentary-like features that will present a more realistic outlook of the country and ranch life. This is a major plus for the show because many people watch Yellowstone get a glimpse of how modern country life looks like. Now, compared to Four Sixes, Yellowstone will be too fictional. Besides, there is the fact that most Yellowstone characters are far from realistic as they have extreme motivates and actions at all times. Four Sixes, however, is focusing more moderate people with small-scale lives and dreams just like most of us, which makes them more relatable. Since Four Sixes did not even start yet, it is difficult to talk about the show and claim that it will be better than Yellowstone. We doubt it will be better than Yellowstone. Still, it will be a strong candidate to rival Yellowstone since it will have more realistic portrayals that will attract the weavers who dislike the violent and extreme portions of Yellowstone. We can even claim that Four Sixes will be a more family-friendly show, making its target audience range wider than Yellowstone. 
What do you think about four sixes? Do you think the show has the potential to be better than Yellowstone? Would you consider Yellowstone an irreplaceable legend at this point? Or do you think the series can still be defeated when it comes to rating and popularity? Do you think Jimmy has the necessary star quality to carry a show up on his shoulders? What about ranch lives? Do you care about watching the daily lives of the ranchers or do you think it should be a side product of the show just like in Yellowstone? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.